Sunday morning. We are on our way to church right now. Uh, it's a Thai church called Christian Assembly. Uh, I found out about it from uh, my friend Betty. She goes to the language school I go to. Now, before we were going to uh, like a Farang uh, English church that was at an international school and it was in a gymnasium. Uh, it was kind of like more like a modern style starter church, you know, in a gym where they had projector and uh, live band and stuff. And that was cool. And Gail does speak really good English, but we wanted to try out a Thai church. And uh, so then we went from that church to this church. This church is in uh, Phuket town, which is like old town Phuket. And uh, it's, a, it's a smaller church. And the way I would describe it is it's kind of like more traditional. There's a woman playing a piano and they have uh, like hymn books and uh, they have, uh, you know, Bibles in there. But I like it though, because uh, especially for somebody who's just getting started in the word, they pretty much just teach straight out of the Bible. You know, they'll read verses out of the Bible. Uh, uh, you know, uh, and so you're really just learning about Jesus and stuff. Some churches, they'll kind of try to give you a lesson that you can apply to your life. And then maybe the pastor will use his self as an example. This one, they're just like straight up, you know, you're learning the, you're learning the history and the stories out of the Bible, like, um, you know, just straight scripture. So for somebody who's a new believer, I think it's it's really important and then even for somebody like myself it's always good to to you know get a refresher on that um, the church is in Thai now there's a lady at the front and she translates for my friend Betty and uh, but the the sermon and, and the singing and everything is in Thai they have an English Bible they'll give you and they have the, the hymn book in English so you can find I can find the songs and I can um, you know read it in English and it's cool because some of the songs a lot of the songs are like classic old school classic songs but you know even though I can't under understand a lot of it it's I can hear key words so like you know I would hear like if if I hear like uh, like a king's name or like or like you know Joseph's name or I know like I can tell like if they're in the book of like John or something I can kind of guess what they're talking about and then sometimes I'll follow along in the English Bible or I'll just read around it and then Gail it's cool because you know even though I'm kind of like discipling Gail she'll tell me what they talked about and stuff like that so it's real cool and you know um, you know the Bible says where two or more are gathered my name I'm there in the midst of them so it doesn't really matter what language it's in you know um, the spirit is there and you know the spirit will get you regardless and uh, it's, it's a really cool experience the church is like they're such nice kind humble people they had like a Christmas dinner that was free at a hotel they invited us to and uh, they're just really good people. And so I'm not gonna record too much in there because I don't wanna be like rude, but I'm gonna record a little bit so you can kinda check it out. Um, and yeah, it's it's just cool to see like God moving, you know, in all different countries and, and see how God you know, affects the lives of different people in different cultures, you know, from one side of the world to the other. And it just really shows you, you know, God's love and his goodness and his grace and uh, yeah so that's what I've been doing going to Thai church it's pretty cool you know what's this brother doing now we are in uh, Phuket town and you can see some of the architecture in the buildings it's like old school it has influence from like other countries and this is really like a tourist spot of Phuket so you come here on a Sunday I don't want to record like too many people but 
it you'll see like a lot of uh Thai people like dressed up nice you know nice dresses uh and they're like from bangkok and other parts of uh thailand and they want to come here to take pictures and just see like you know kind of like the historical stuff uh, so it's a pretty neat area here a lot of bright colors and, and certain types of uh you know colors you see there goes uh, a mural of king number nine rest in peace king number nine so we usually go park in the, the temple over here. Okay, so Gail just gave me an update. She said a lot of these buildings out here are Portuguese, from Portugal influence, right, Bam? Yes. Portuguese. Portugal. All right, we're parking in the Thai temple, Buddhist temple, but we're going to the Christian church. Yeah, because uh, Buddhist people are really kind they welcome anybody and uh, Buddhist people they're pretty amazing people so just gotta throw that in there hmm. if he hit me I'll bust this if he hits me his window will fly out because I'm too strong Gonjang Gonjang in Thailand Alright, church was cool. Now we're eating lunch. And that's one of the cool things about Phuket Town is there's a lot of cool different places to eat. This is like a little they got pork, rice, chicken, 
a lot of these uh, restaurants and these buildings are like long and skinny and deep. So they make they make it look nice. They got all the sauces and stuff like that. Decorations. We got the little Buddhist thing. We got the pork special here. Crispy pork. The red pork. On rice with the egg and the extra sauce. Sugar likes extra sauce. 